My first memory of collecting, 1978, I was nine years old. Um, I still remember being in my bedroom, putting the 1978 Topps baseball card set together on the checklist, marking them all off one by one. I remember as I got a little bit older, um, I was starting into, because being from Boston, collecting Larry Bird, rookies, and the Celtics were big at that time. Not so much the Patriots, but uh, um, that, yeah, that's how I, Red Sox, all Carl Yastrzemski, Carlton Fisk, um, that's the stuff I loved. As far as the business starting out, my dad used to be into compact discs and collectible records at the time, and he had a 2,800 square foot store. And I asked him if I could put a four foot glass showcase in there just to put my sports cards. And I finally talked him into doing it and that's where it all started. From there, I ended up taking over his whole business and it was all sports cards. I had one of the largest stores in Massachusetts from 1987 up through the late 90s. The late 90s it affected a lot of your mom and pop shops. It affected us as well. Um, we closed up the shop and we were doing dealing online between eBay and, and our mailing list that we had at the time. Um, up until uh, the, I'd say it was around 2010, we started our website. And from there, things just went to a whole nother level again. I really hadn't um, opened a store, still dealing out the, out of the house at that point. Um, and then things just kept on growing and growing up through the, you know, 2015, 2016. It just, to a whole nother level. And it was at the point where I needed to come up with a, an office space, a warehouse type facility. And that's when, again, my mind was racing. I'm always thinking, trying to come up with new ideas, things to do to, to, to get bigger and better. And I said, you know what, if I'm gonna get a place, I need to have a store that will give me the ability to buy direct. And that's all taken place. And um, for the last two plus years, um, things are going to whole nother levels. And I still, as far as the breaking side of things, have not been breaking for a year. Uh, we started last August. We are very well known for the amount of wax that we have. We've got probably one of the largest selections. Um, I don't know, it, we have massive amounts of, of unopened between boxes and cases, stuff going back into the early 80s. Um, as far as the newest stuff goes, I n always knew how big the break scene was. I said, this is not for me, I'll never do it. Customers would come into the store, you guys must break. I said, no. Finally got talked into doing it. And as soon as I put my first step in and realized the size of, and how much demand there was on the break side of things, I was just in awe. And we haven't looked back since. Loop is a, the, one of our biggest um, streams of income right now at this point, the way things are going, um, along with our website. Uh, eBay and our storefront. Um, we love it. The, the whole process of inventory um, as far as processing orders, uh, everything is just, it's, it's a piece of cake. One of the key things uh, because of the size of our business and how much we have going on, I had to have my wife, you know, we had a long talk and it took me a while to talk her into quitting her job and um, being hands-on, uh, she's in charge of all the shipping, orders going out, UPS, postal service, and um, she's got a big part in what we do. From day one, I told her, things need to be shipped the way you would want to receive them. Um, dealing in collectibles and, and, and how things can damage easily, um, making sure things are top-loaded, wrapped up properly, and enough cushion to where if a box gets dinged, it's not gonna affect the cards within. A lot of times we're double boxing or double bubble mailing cards, taking that extra step to ensure a safety arrival of those cards. Yeah, as far as relationship with customers, I feel that we've already created a pretty big uh, loyal base on, on regulars coming back to our live feeds when we go online. It's no different than the local business. Um, there is some competition that we have locally, and um, again, I, I feel that what we bring as far as the personal level, as well as the inventory level we offer, um, we, we, we do have a pretty big following, and uh, no different when we're, we're live streaming, you see a lot of those regulars coming back, and I think that they appreciate what we offer with the selection that I, I feel, well, with the amount of streamers that we have, the, the, the years that we go back in multiple years in all sports. So I think our customers appreciate that. 
As far as the product and what we offer uh, and how we obtain it, again, being in this business for 35 years, this is, it, it's built up over that time period. This isn't something that, that you can get into in a year and just accumulate what we have. Um, it's just the knowledge of the hobby, knowing what people want, the, the more popular brands, the products, the key rookie cards, what products they're in. Just knowing the market, especially more so on the newer, modern stuff. Um, older is a little bit different. I do take pride in that selection. Again, I feel that that does separate us from pretty much everybody else. Um, I know that we, we bring a lot to the table with, again, all sports going back multiple years. Heck, we can even expand it more. And that's something we may do. Yeah, non-sports is, is a big uh, part of our business as well, locally in our store. We do carry a lot. I try to focus more so on movies, big hit movies. There's so much non-sports stuff out there. I feel that does not really move like a lot of the famous movies like Rambo, excuse me, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Some of your, your hit movies in the 70s, Jaws. Um, so I try to focus on those types of products and they always seem to move well. Yeah, one of my favorite memories was just, just happened within the last month when we hit a one-of-one uh, -one Vlad Guerrero out of Diamond Icons, uh, the logo patch. Um, we've hit some big cards, but I think that that card is just at a whole nother level. My biggest challenge is actually probably, I don't know, it's probably a good one, just because the amount and how busy we are between, again, our store, website, wanting to break more often than we actually are. Being in a small town, it's not easy for me to find somebody that I can hire just to break all day, which is my goal. Get somebody full time all day, every day. Because um, we do have the ability to do that. So that's, that's a big challenge for me right now. That's been a challenge for me for the last couple months. Um, really, that's about it at this point. I mean, things are strong right now. Yes, business can be up and down. That's how this business is. And especially being in the collectibles, you don't know what's gonna happen from day to day. We've been through the highs over the last 35 years and the lows. So it's not always gonna be sunshine. You don't know what to expect, but um, that's, that's where I'm at on that.